what is going on everyone welcome back to another swift tutorial in today's video we're going to be learning how to create a tag collection so basically what you see here on screen where we can have either uh, text or like custom images or custom views in these tag looking uh, items and of course we can go through here and simply select it unselect what we want we can of course configure each of these items and of course this whole thing is very memory efficient it's not just uh, a bunch of buttons in a scroll view so that said um, get xcode ready drop a like down below and let's get into the so let's get started by creating a new project we're going to stick with a single view application and let's call this project tag collection save it on our desktop and get into it so the first thing we need to actually do is bring in the framework that lets us create these tag collections and we're going to do that through coco pods so let's cd into our project folder and do a pod in it and as i usually say if you're not familiar with coco pods take a look at my earlier video on it or just follow along do a open pod file and in here we need to add the CocoaPod for TTG tag collection view is what I think it's called. I guess we'll find out in a second. Make sure your pod P is lowercase, otherwise you'll get an error actually. So let's actually save and close text edit. And in here let's do a pod install. And we'll see all this stuff up here on my screen. You may not see it. I've got some different settings, but the important thing is you should get some success messages down here um, for the relevant framework being installed, like so. Let's clear out the text in here by hitting Command K. We can hit Command W on this Xcode window to close it because we want to open up the workspace now. So the name of our project .xc workspace. Let's open this up. Let's open our project folders over here. Select our simulator. And let's hit Command R to build and run to make sure that things are compiling and we get our empty application here. Cool. So now we can actually focus on implementing this tag collection. So we're going to get started by importing TTG tag collection view. And this framework gives us two different types of collection views actually. One is a text tag collection view, which is what you saw at the beginning of this video. And the other is a standard TTG tag collection view, which lets you customize it way more in terms of adding images or if you want to add even buttons or um, basically anything you think of. We're going to be focusing on the text tag collection view. It's a delegate and it's customization. So let's create the collection view by saying this equals TTG text tag collection view. And we are going to add it as a sub view. We need to set its frame in view did layout sub views. It's called super. And in here we can say the frame is a CG rect. X is zero, Y is a hundred. Width is view dot frame dot size dot width. Let's say height is 300. And before we actually run this, we can assign some properties on this collection view. And particularly, we want to do text alignment, rather just alignment. And we're going to go with center. And the other thing we want to do is set the delegate of this guy to self. And we're going to get an error here because we need to conform to the TTG text tag collection view delegate and of course we need to add tags to this collection view so if you're familiar with standard collection views you have to implement the whole data source nine yards with a uh, number of items and whatnot um, the nice thing about this component is it's super simple to work with so to add tags we can simply say collection view and we want to say add tags takes an array of tags and it also takes a configuration, which is not popping up at the moment. Here we go. We want to add tags. And it takes a TTG text tag config. So we're going to define this config up here. 
And this config is actually optional, as you saw. There's functions where we don't need to define it. But the config lets us configure the visuals of the tags that you're adding. So things like the background color, text color, border width, border color, etc. So let's assign some of that. We're going to say the background color is system blue. And we're going to say the text color is white. We'll say the border color is orange. Let's do system orange, actually. And let's say the border width is 1. And of course, let's actually add some tags in here. So let's, uh, I don't know, let's do some random things. Let's do animals, food, music, sports, Swift programming. And I think that's good enough for now. So let's hit Command R. Your app should build and run. And you should see this cool looking view here. So now that we can actually see that it's here, notice that when you tap each of these, you can actually select and unselect. And the reason, of course, you can do this is um, you can leverage a delegate to find out when the user makes a selection. So for example, if you have an app where you want to say to the user, select all of your interests. Instead of having a table view, this is kind of a nicer UI, uh, in my opinion at least, where the user can go and look at a bunch of these different options and select what they want. So um, it's up to you, of course, if you want it to be like an alphabetical table or whatnot, but this is the power that this gives you. So that said, let's add a couple more tags and we'll just copy and paste this for the sake of um, you guys not having to watch me sit and type them. And let's uh, actually left align this table now or this collection view and hit command R and what, what I want to illustrate is that this scrolls similar to any table view or collection view um, so that said let's actually focus on the TTG text tag delegate now so the one method that I want to discuss before wrapping up is did tap tag and this whole function let's zoom out a little bit here is did tap tag it gives you the text of the tag as well as the index the tag collection view in which it was typed very similar to a table view function and in here we can do things along the lines of let's say if we had an array up here of selections we can append each of the selections in here Similar to the example I gave earlier, where if we wanted the user to have a way to select multiple of these, we can have the user select them, and then we're basically going to keep uh, adding them to our array. And if you take a look at the console down below, you'll see that every time we add, uh, every time we tap one of these tags, we add it to our array. Now, of course, when we unselect them, we also want to um, get rid of it. So right now we just keep adding, but that's a little out of scope for this video. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. The other thing that I'll mention is this configuration, as you see here, applies to the batch of tags that you're adding in one round. So what that means is if I copy this and let's say I make this config one and change all of these. And let's say we change this to be system red, hit command R, if I'm not mistaken, the tags that we add below here will be our specified config. So you can definitely have one collection view with multiple configurations in there. So yeah, that's basically what I wanted to talk about. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that like button down below. If you have any questions or want to see a more in-depth video with this component, I'd be uh, happy to do so. I'd love to hear about it in the comments. If you're new, welcome, subscribe. Hope you guys found the video useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.